love you. I love you very much. I don't love you. That's the big problem. What? Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. I am Van, and we are all the LFR family. Thank you so much for clicking play. Hopefully, you click that like button as well. I know that this video right here might make a few of you leave the channel once we're all done, and it might even add to the family. Not sure. It depends on how sensitive you are and whose side you're on and all this other stuff. Right now, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is not about size at all not for me anyway it's not about sides if it's about sides for you i apologize some feelings are about to be hurt um candace owens we already know that candace owens does not have the best relationship with steven crowder at all but i also don't think that she's operating in bad faith in reporting on news that that comes up like this whole situation with steven crowder and his wife it's unfortunate but let's discuss it reason why i decided to pick candace owens video i could have gone straight to the ring camera where they were showing the footage but so many people are having a field day with this and they're they're celebrating this as if it's something good it's not something good i i hate when um when we see another example of the nuclear family falling by the wayside for whatever reason i don't like that at all so because i am a married man i've been married for 24 years in august it will be 25 years we've been together for 30 years and and it's it's a beautiful thing to have it's 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 how i wish everybody everybody's situation was set up not because it's better um not because it's smoother but because it's a it's 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 a higher likelihood for security and for moving the world forward in the way that God will have us do it, all right? I'm a God-fearing man. Am I I'm without sin? Am I perfect? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. But we wanted to check this out. So a bit of breaking news that just happened. And before we get to it, I just want to back up and tell you why we are discussing this breaking news. Because it's occurred to me that there are some people out there who believe that to be a conservative, what it means is that we become tribal. And we defend other conservatives even when they do things that are wrong that we don't discuss things that are horrible on our own side because we need to just make sure that we score wins in other ways, and that is wrong. It's a, that, to me, is the exact opposite of why I have this platform. I am not tribal. I want to expose things when they are bad on the left, and I will also expose things when they are bad on the right. Obviously, I have been interested in the Steven Crowder saga pertaining to his divorce because he literally inserted me into his divorce a couple of days ago. and. His wife and family are now speaking out regarding that video in which he told people publicly that his wife was leaving him. You remember this. He chose wrong, and he essentially made it sound as if he did not want his marriage to end, but his wife simply wanted to leave. Well, she has responded by giving video, and I want to prep you. I want you to know this is horrific video. It is very difficult to watch. It's especially difficult to watch because in this footage, she is eight months pregnant. Um, and the video essentially reveals just how emotionally abusive he has been. And she is alleging that he has been emotionally abusive to her. And this video all but confirms it. So let's first get to the footage. I'm just going to allow you to watch it in its entirety. Now, before we move forward and we watch this, I just want to say that I do not believe, and this is no knock at Candace. I think Candace is a beautiful person inside and out. I think she's extremely intelligent and whatnot. And y'all know if I'm giving her all these compliments, then I'm about to say something negative. Yes, I don't believe that she's operating under good faith um, when it comes to this whole situation. I don't believe Candace Owens is operating under good faith. I do believe that she can. She has the ability to be um, to be fair. But in this instance, I don't believe she's even willing to consider all sides of the situation. And that's just me. Of course, we all have our own opinions when it comes to this situation. I'm just talking about Candace Owens' way of getting to the situation, all right? It's, and, it, and it comes off to me as, I don't know, as a setup from, say, the Young Turks or something, <laughs> or one of the people out there who clearly are beefing with ideology of the right, and they can't wait for um, some something to come out that they can just pounce on. It has this right here has that feel. Just saying. I drew a boundary. I drew a boundary. No, no, you just did, you just did it. I drew a boundary of abusive and cruel. You were not taking the car. Because if you refuse to do wife things, then I will go pick up the groceries. There are no groceries. 
and we have snakes, wood pellets, my grill. I know it's not a reasonable request, but I'll go do it. How about you first? Hillary, how do you respect the man? Yes, how do you man? How do you man? You see the mother of that. Respect. No, no. How do you man? No, you're not taking the car. You're not taking the car. You are not. Then I will ask them to pick me up. Would you like me to ask? Oh, that's right. It's not about Steven. Get an Uber. Okay, Steven, I can't. Do, feeling some constraints? Steven. Like, I can't Steven. go. I, listen to me. Listen to me. You want to walk out right now? Listen to me. I can't go to the gym. I can't go to my parents. I can't call my friends. I can't go. I can't be home. You're going to take the car and leave me here. Hillary, just think of how boxed in you've made me. What do you need me to pick up? I'll get it. I'll be back when I'm back. No, that doesn't work either. You'll be back when you're back. That doesn't work either. Hold on. Time out. Time out. And, and <laughs> trust me, I'm going to come to this conversation a little different than you probably heard it before because I have these type of conversations with my wife, like heated conversations is what I'm saying, um, where sometimes she says some things that she don't mean and sometimes I say some things that I don't mean. But at this point, we want to make sure that you are hearing what I'm saying, and it's like because we're in a, a safe space, sometimes we feel like we have the right or the green light to just disrespect one another because we know you're not going anywhere. We know you're not going to do anything to us. We know that we trust you more than anybody in the world. So, But sometimes we can get a little overboard, a little overboard. And for no situation, I don't think unless it turns into a situation where there's physical abuse or potential physical abuse, um, we shouldn't be peeking into anybody's homes in anybody camera situations. <laughs> because imagine one of your um, private arguments with, with your loved one going viral or something like that. It won't be a good look. So we there's a lot more context to this. I just don't know why with all the money that they make that they only got one damn car. That's it. Why in the hell y'all only got one car? Y'all should have um, not a whole, you know, a fleet of cars, but you should definitely have more than one car if, if wifey want to go somewhere. I, I, Do you understand the difference between one life being set to the second and you're going to the back on back? The only way out of it is discipline or respect. It's the only way out of it, or we're at an impact. He already did pass. Good. Because you can't have any discipline or respect. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. You throw your hand, you give up so easily. I don't give up so easily. You, know, you give up so easily. I, I just said the only way out of this is discipline or respect. You said, then we're at an impact. Steven, no, we are at an impact. Okay? I love you, but Steven, Steven, your abuse is sick. Your abuse Watch it. is sick. Watch it. Watch it. I'm gonna let go, I'll get what you need me to get. And I, I need some space. We need to just talk and baby for a little bit. Okay? I love you. I love you very much. I don't love you. That's the big problem. What? Hold on. Time out. Time out, brother. Okay. Okay. Um and this is the thing, this, this is the dangerous part right here. You don't say sugar honey iced tea like that. You don't say, I don't love you. You don't, and, and, but one, I want to go back to his wife. His wife is saying, Stephen, Stephen, I love you. I just don't want to be in your presence right now. That's what she's saying. Um, she's dealing with um, something right now where she needs to be away from him. She need her time. She need for him to shut the hell up. While she deals with her emotions, while she deals with whatever she needs to deal with, she can be having an anxiety attack right now. She can be, first of all, she's eight months pregnant and, and whatever she was dealing with before emotionally, you can go ahead and multiply that by three. I mean, well, by two, because she has two babies inside of her. I believe she's pregnant with twins. So as a husband, we have to be a bit more patient, a bit more understanding listen more and we cannot we cannot be more emotional than our wives that's where steven is messing up there's absolutely nothing going on in their situation right now where him being quiet and him being nurturing and him just babe i'm i'm him him taking the high road as the man because 
it doesn't benefit him to win the argument. And a lot of times for us, um, we will just completely disregard somebody else's feelings, no matter how much they mean to us, simply so we can win the argument. There's no point. Like, what do you get from that? I've never received love from you. And the fact is, when I go, look, I need you to do A, B, C, and D, just be disciplined about it, you go, no. But I love you more than life itself. Okay. Put on some gloves. No. But I love you more than life itself. That's not fair. That's not fair, and it's disingenuous. Hillary, you're right, right in the past. Become someone, let's see me, day in and day out, worthy of a life worth. No, not as a wife. I didn't say as a wife. Hillary, Hillary, come on now. I'm not going to engage. I'm not going to engage anymore. I'm going to go. I'll get text me what you need. I'll get you what you need. I, I love you. I'm committed to you. Are you committed enough to do those things? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to Are you committed enough to do those things? That. You're not committed to anything. You're not committed to anything. You just said I love you. I'm committed to that. Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. I need to Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. Are you committed enough to do those things? Are you committed enough to do those things? Are you committed enough to do those things? I'm good. I've seen Steven Crowder have crazy back and forths with people. At college universities, I've seen him get into heated back and forth with people where he was the cool head. How come he couldn't separate his emotions this time? It's because when we're around the person that we we trust the most and we love the most for some strange reason, we feel like you're not going anywhere and you're the one I can dump my emotions onto. And I'm in the privacy of my home. I don't have to be as controlling of my my emotions anymore no when it comes to that that lady in front of you that you have to protect bro this was this was a bad look on um on steven he's not been the man that i thought he'll be simply because he just won't let it go men men need to be men men need to know how to let it go like you don't have to win the goddamn argument your wife is pregnant bro even if she wasn't pregnant you don't have to win the argument. You don't have to win the day. You're at home. You're chilling. You got a beautiful family. You got a beautiful life. You're, you're everything straight and set up properly the way that you wanted, that you worked hard, to, the way you worked hard to set it up. Allow God to do his thing. I'm telling you guys, this is another example of God not being in the situation. God has not been in the situation right now is about winning the argument is about proving a point and is messing up this whole dynamic between Steven Crowder and his wife. Are we all living in the glass house? Absolutely. Um, are we all wrong at some points? Absolutely. But when it comes to the person that we decide to spend our lives with, we need to give them a, a bit more grace. Even if they're wrong, we need to give them a bit more grace. And when you're a man, I'm talking about a man. Listen to me. See, there's a lot of people out there that might feel like you can give me advice when it comes to this. It's not about that. It's about this. You're talking to a man who's been doing this for a long damn time, bro. Who has successfully done some things in the family dynamic. And I'm telling you how you can better, um, you, can, you can be more successful at that. There's certain things I can't give you advice on. But when it comes to this family stuff, I'm, I can do it all day long. Trust me on this. All right. If Steven Crowder would have been more nurturing in this situation. In other situations where we didn't see the footage, clearly she wanted to. Re she, clearly, she wanted to get him on camera and report it to someone just to show people this is the person that I live with, and you guys praise praise him and and all this other stuff. I'm not saying Stephen Crowd is a bad person at all. What I'm saying is that he dropped the ball as a man because he's very emotional right now. You don't listen, 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 listen. No, she ain't got to listen to you. She's a goddamn on grown woman and she's your wife and she's um, carrying your babies right now. So no, she ain't got to listen. Like she's let her be her. All right. She went to the store for you and she forgot your wooden pellets and your steaks and stuff for your grill. Okay. And <laughs> she don't want to walk the dogs. Okay. And you, you're going to make some, you're going to make sure that she's disciplined in your house, huh? You're going to control the narrative, huh? 
That right there, nah, get rid of that, bro. There's a way to have that discipline and to have to 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 be at the highest peak of the hierarchy in your family without being so de- um, so so demanding and so disrespectful. It really is. The dogs put on some gloves. Are you committed enough to get the medication? The dogs. Don't you take take that in. So that is both heartbreaking and infuriating for me to watch. I cannot even comprehend how any man can speak to a woman like that. Uh, least of all when she is eight months pregnant. And sadly, that isn't the worst part of that correspondence. Well, he didn't speak to her like enough to be called a monster, in my opinion, Um, because the title of this video is Steven Crowder is a monster. I don't think he's a monster. I don't think he's a monster. I just think that he got emotional. He's um, he's emotional. He's used to being King Dingaling. He's used to having people follow his his um, like whatever I say you do. And apparently him and his wife have that type of relationship. Whatever I say, get it done. You know what I mean? You know that you got some duties, get it done. You know what I mean? And he's not as nurturing as as I would be, as, as I would have been, okay? But all I'm saying is that you don't have to strike your iron fist in order to show that you are the man. And that's what he was doing. He was getting extremely emotional and upset because he didn't get the the response from her that he wanted. He probably wanted to see some tears. He probably wanted to see her break down. But this was actually his wife being strong. His wife was being strong at this moment. She just wanted to look. I just want to get away from you. I want to go for a drive. I will go back to the store just so I can get away from you right now. I'm not saying that I'm I'm leaving you. I'm not saying any of that. But what I am saying is that you and I need a bit of separation between us right now before I say something that I will regret and before you say something that you will regret. And when it comes to being in a successful relationship, a successful marriage or something like that, it's important that you give yourself that space sometimes. Sometimes my wife and I, we would get heated, bro. And it would be from the smallest situations in the world. But all it takes is allowing each other our space so we can deal with what we deal with. Because Steven Crowder isn't the only person that has his stuff that he's dealing with, all right? Um, And his wife, she's not the only, I mean, she she does have duties. I'm not, nobody's in a position to tell anybody, um, anybody's wife, what they should or should not do in their household. Not my place. That's not my wife. it's, It's not my place to say what should and shouldn't happen in that household, But what I can say is that communication is key. Um, Respect is key. Making sure that you show her time and time again the reasons why she married you in the first place, that's key. And being so demeaning and and, and throwing stuff, just constantly throwing stones at each other does not help at all. It don't. I do also know that they went into some things about Steven Crowder saying that he had to he he couldn't go to the store. He couldn't do some things because he had an electric. Um, he had a surgery and, and all this other stuff. And, and, and they prayed for him at the Daily Wire to make sure that that he healed properly and all on all these things. But I'm, I'm just going to tell you this right now. Just looking at this video. This video was not made in good faith. It wasn't. It wasn't. And y'all know I have the greatest amount of respect for um, for Candace Owens. But you have to you cannot see all of the context just by looking at a video. You can't when it comes to somebody's um, household, when it comes to um, a, an intimate conversation or an intimate um, argument back and forth with a husband and wife. There's a lot more that you need to look at. All right. We don't know where her duties are. We don't know if if she even handles her duties. We don't know if she's the worst wife in the world. We don't know if she just give him her ass to kiss because he believed that, you know, I, I had your babies now. You can't do anything. I, I do whatever I want to do. We don't know any of those things. But what I do know is that a man should be able to control his emotions. A man should be able to understand that, yo, I signed up for this as well. This is my this is my um, my my lady. This is my wife. This is the you know the the mother of my children, and I need to make sure that she is good because you yelling at her like that while she's pregnant with your children, that's causing other issues internally, um, and could 
potentially affect the pregnancy and people don't take that into consideration. So as a man, I don't like what I saw from Steven Crowder, but I don't think that he's been a monster right there because again, I'm going to say it again. I don't know the fullness of that conversation. The video was leaked by his wife for a reason because she wanted you to see her side of things. But what if Steven Crowder leaked a video showing her darkest times as well? Who wants to see that? He wouldn't do that to his wife. I, I don't think he would do that to his wife. All right. So that's just me. But I do want us to talk about this. And when you talk about this, please don't try to come to it as a, I'm on Steven Crowder side and that's it. And I just think that, you know, they just trying to get rid of this man and they trying to throw salt on his name and all this other stuff. Nah, she, that lady, she probably gone through some things. And Steven Crowder probably gone through some things. And if they are getting a divorce like I'm hearing, bro, that's, that's not something to celebrate. It, it really isn't. It, the divorces are not good, man, at all. It breaks up the nuclear family. Even if she goes and remarries, it's going to be another man helping to raise the children that they created together. And it's going to be another broken home. That's not cool. Like, we need to get back to, the, to, to doing things the way that God will have us to do things. But feel free to give me your two pennies, man. From what I'm hearing right now, it says they, they don't seem happy together. <laughs> seems, like, uh, seems like a petty thing to have an argument about. Yeah, abso Craig, you're absolutely right. But this is when, when it comes to power couples, or because they are technically a power couple, a lot of people don't even consider that. They are the type of couple that, that hires and fires. They are the type of couple that don't have to work again a day in their life in order to pay their bills. You know what I mean? They've done things right over the years. So they good. Their children are straight. Their children are going to go to some amazing schools when they're of age. So, I mean, you know what I mean? They, they just at a, they are in, in, um, at an impasse right now. They are at an impasse. But when your wife says something to you, men, listen listen don't listen to respond listen to understand women when your husband says something to you listen don't listen to respond listen to understand and the biggest understanding that we should have is that neither one of us are perfect but if we married one another clearly we have our, our best interests at heart i trust you enough to sleep next to you every single night you trust me enough to sleep next to me every single night there's not many people out there that I will sleep next to <laughs> at all. But we need to understand that, man, because it's, it's times like this where, you know, we just show people, we show the world the darkest moments of people's situations, and we believe that we can judge it based off of that. No. If y'all, if there was some hidden, some hidden videos in my house, you all would probably hate me. I'm dead ass serious. I'm not always my darkest moment. You're not always your darkest moments. As a matter of fact, you're almost never your darkest moment. And some people say that when you are your darkest moment, that's your true self. That's bullshit. I don't believe that at all. All right. Now, also, when it comes to relationships and when it comes to marriages and whatnot, I don't know how long they've been married. And I don't know how long Candace has been married. But I doubt Candace want any cameras showing her and her husband's, you know, um, back and forth at all at all none like don't show my stuff you know stay out of my household yeah she don't talk a whole lot about what's going on with her and her husband because she don't want you to know what's going on with her and her husband and rightfully so that should stay private but now we're talking about we're talking about this steven crowder and his wife's situation as if we know the fullness of the um, of the situation we do not know man we don't know the story but that right there was a weak point that right there did not make steven crowder look good it made him look very controlling it made him look extremely emotionally abusive but and it made him look that way clearly she's still with him clearly she was not breaking down and crying and i gotta go oh you heard him he said f you he cussed at her he said that he threatened to touch her he threatened to you know stop her from leaving out the house he said that she couldn't drive the car oh she's been abused she can't drive the car 
What you mean she can't drive the car? She's a grown woman. You telling her she can't drive the car? She a grown woman. What you mean you telling her to do her chores? Let me tell you something. She married that man, and he is the head of that household. And what we're looking at right now is a man being the head of his household, but he's been extremely emotional about um, while doing so. And we are judging it as if we know what the hell's going on, and we don't know sugar, honey, iced tea. Nothing. And we definitely don't know enough to say that he's a monster. That's why I say that this video by Candace Owens was not done in good faith. And again, I will say it again. I respect Candace. Candace is awesome. She's a beautiful human being inside and out. But clearly she got some things going on between her and Steven that she just seemed like she couldn't wait to get on this topic right here. And I don't like that, man. That's, that, that's not cool. It's not cool at all. Stop feeling like you can judge somebody based off of a 30 second snippet or one minute long snippet. You cannot judge anybody off of that. You can't. Let us all put some secret cameras in all of our homes and then just randomly release the darkest moment of our times when we're having an argument or we're feeling ourselves or we're smelling ourselves or we're feeling like, um, like we have done it all. Many times we get into a relation, we get into a situation where we like, I did this, I paid for this, I'm doing everything, and you don't do nothing. Yeah, of course we will put that type of resume on ourselves. I mean, we're with ourselves all the time. We want to make sure that we lift up our accomplishments. We don't want to feel like a piece of crap, like we don't add to the situation. We want to feel like we are really instrumental with a great deal of things that go on in our household. That's all I'm saying. Like this, the the topic, this, what's it called? The, um, as you can see, this says Steven Crowder is a monster. Changed my mind. Well, this whole thing was a whole play on words. Um, change my mind. You already know that's a Steven Crowder thing. The whole change my mind thing. That's what he does. He's been doing that for a while, but sh this is just somebody just acting like this is a joke. This is somebody's family. This is somebody's household right here. This ain't cute. This is somebody's business. This is somebody's uh, reputation. This is it's a lot that goes into this and we're feeling like we can destroy somebody based off of this new no. Was it a good look? Hell no. Was it some man stuff? Hell no. Because when a woman get emotional and if she goes to the store and she forgets something and you feel like, or you have to make her feel like she's inconsiderate or selfish because she forgot the stuff that you need to go and grill some steaks in your, come on, bro. Come on, man. Come on. That's some, that's privilege talk. Not white privilege talk, rich privilege talk. That's somebody that's looking at, I run this and you didn't do your part you need to do your part do better next time who the hell are you <laughs> no so yeah we just caught his darkest moment um, well one of their dark moments and some of y'all feel like you can judge them for it you can't you can't every time you point one finger at somebody it's like 15 pointing back at you relax none of y'all are perfect